Well, hey everybody, welcome to my sewing room. And today I'm super excited because I have a special guest for my floss tube, number seven, right? I think yeah. so. Yeah, <laughs> today is February 12th, 2021. And my friend Christy from Crosshatch Quilts, <laughs> who lives by me, sort of by me, right? So I live in Utah, Christy lives in Utah, but we're like about three or four hours apart. Yeah, about three hours. And because we, what's been going on in the world, we haven't been able to get together for a long time, but we've been able to stitch together, you know, through texting and Zooming and phone calls and all of that stuff. But the last time I saw you was last time we were camping last year in the summer. Yeah. In the summer. And so it's been really fun to have her here for a bit and we've been stitching. And because I film on Fridays, we thought, why not do a floss tube together? and show y'all this projects, <laughs> this plethora of projects <laughs> that we have. This is only like section one <laughs> of things that we are sti stitching together or things that she has stitched and finished that I haven't started yet, but I have kitted or vice versa, things that I have finished and she has halfway finished or, but we thought it would be really fun um, or I did and then I coerced Christy <laughs> into doing it. To show, you know, it's really fun to show um, like the same project, but different threads or different fabrics or something like that and hold them up next to each other yeah. and see the differences and see how everything is beautiful. All stitching is beautiful, no matter what you choose. It's just your choice and it's just different and it's all good. So I'm super happy to have Christy here. I've known Christy for about six years. Yep, I came to your first Farm Girl Vintage Retreat. <laughs> yes, that's when I first met her and Haley. My stalker is how she became girl. my friend. <laughs> <Yes>. <laughs> she didn't force me to. <laughs> Trust me. Like everybody who meets Christy wants to be her best friend. So, because she's just the sweetest. And we've had so much fun this thing. week. It's so, been so fun. We've giggled and just... And stayed up too late. <laughs> and got up too early. Giggled, because we don't want to waste any time. That's right. We want to stitch, stitch, stitch. All the things. All the things. Not all at the same time but just as much as we can, you know, fit in. So, so let's talk about first what we stitched together okay. this week. Okay. Like we worked on some of the same things, some of the, some different things. Um, the first thing that we did together was pull out our Land That I Love by Teresa Kogut. Let me grab a design board and put this on so I can hold it up. So you can see. I showed you this last week, but I was able to get, you know, that little motif that I was talking about, or that big motif that I said looked like a ship. The ship. The, the they, ship of flowers. I was able to get that finished. And then I worked on my alphabet from H until P. <laughs> from H till P. <coughs> so I've got a long way to catch up to her, but this is the... Yeah, but it's not about speed. Yeah, that's right. <coughs> some things you have finished that I haven't even started so I'm stitching mine on <clears throat> oh I don't even remember now <laughs> I shouldn't have said well it's different than mine yeah. and that's all we have it's R&R &R fabric and well that's the thing in our own floss tubes we detail exactly what we're doing with our projects like the threads and the fabrics for this one we just want to show what we're doing together and show how different they look with different <laughs> fabrics so that's that's what you're going to get this week yeah okay <laughs> so that's land that I love. And I have to have a drink of water for a second here. So hang on. Okay. What's the next on our pile that we put in order so that we wouldn't go out of order? So you worked on, I worked on Summer at Hollyberry Farm. Oh yeah. Okay. So, and so hold that on, up and I'll find okay. my savior's praise. So this is Summer at Hollyberry Farm by Stacy Nash. And I'm really trying hard to finish it, but oh, oh my gosh, this is a beauty. It's a big one. It's a big girl. Look at that. Is that showing correct? Mm -hmm. yeah, and look at all so. the berries. There's but like you're over almost... 300. <laughs> I... I know, but you're almost done. Look, you're going around. But look at that house. That is see... like the most amazing. I can see the light at the end of the tunnel. <laughs> I love that. Do you it's happen to remember what the cloth is on that? This is L by Picture This Plus 36 count. I've never stitched on that before. I love that. It's so vintagey looking, huh? Yeah. It looks like it got dipped in 
walnut crystals. Or... Yeah, I like the kind of like the goldy brown. Yeah. Okay, so this is a Savior's Praise. I showed you this last week too, but I did make some progress on it. I was able to work on this basket a little bit. I still have more work on the basket itself, but I think I finished everything that's inside of the basket. I good? can't see. Yes, thank you. <laughs> Cassidy's here telling us if we should lift our things higher or lower. I love this so much. It's, it's even prettier in person if that's possible. Teresa designed this, a Shakespeare's peddler, and she just did an amazing job. And I just, I, I love this. Every second of this, I love. She's a genius. And so, okay. Oh, another thing that we're doing together we're at different stages, is my sew by row. The stitch along is happening right now, but we're getting there. So this is the sew by row, and it's happening right now on Fat Quarter Shop's floss tube, and Kimberly's doing it, and she shows every week, like the progress and stuff like that, and what row we're supposed to be on. <laughs> and this is, so I'm doing mine one over one on my um, 20 count cork. And what are you doing yours? Mine is 36 count flax. And I just barely started last week, so I'm, I didn't start on time. So I'm a little bit further behind, but it is such a fun, fun stitch. I'm so excited to have this in my sewing room. So isn't that fun to see the different sizes? Yeah, That's they're so fun. And That's because, really so close. notice, okay, this is when we can talk about how you're left-handed and I'm oh, right-handed. Yeah, yeah. Because I always start my charts because I'm stitching like this because I'm right-handed so I start in the top right and I'm working towards the left and I'm left-handed so I start on the left side and go to the right but both of the, our top leg of our cross stitch is, is exactly the exact the same. same we didn't even know that we, we just crossed we, we just found exactly that out the same except opposite <laughs> yeah so meaning mine always goes like okay I have to show it backwards so mine always starts up here and goes down here yep and I start and then there. I finish crossing that way and she does the exact same thing but she starts on the other side so then the top leg lays the same though so yeah. which is interesting. that means we could cross stitch on the same project that's and right. we would never you know, never know. Yeah. <laughs> we wish we had <laughs> stitchy elves to come in and help us <laughs> that's right <laughs> or extra arms. I do <laughs> okay so I think that's my chart. Scroll out over there. Oh, oh no, you didn't. Did steal. I steal your chart? You didn't. <laughs> no, it's my chart because it has my name on that's it. That's right. See, being my brother. <laughs> okay. Um, oh, and then we both just started this this week. So this is the sampler chart. Oh, it's called the friendship sampler. Sorry, down here, friendship sampler by Moira. Yeah, and, and it's by Moira Blackburn. And they're the same chart, just the cover looks different for some reason. So but anyway, we just pulled thread, we pulled um, linen for my stash, and we pulled DMCs for my stash, and we cut the linen in half. Look, we cut the linen in half, and we just um, so good started <laughs> stitching that way. But anyway, here's the chart again, but we changed up the colors. We wanted... A little bit brighter colors for our because you know I wanted to use my favorite red 347 so I said to Christy will you let me use my red and she said I want to use that red too so <laughs> read the the chart the poem out. okay so the poem says it is a dear thing friendship a sweet balm a fast elusive bird of calm that flutters over or life's tumultuous ocean isn't that the truth yeah so we like Perfect. to do, we like to do friendship stuff together so you know all the cross stitch um, that has friend, friendship themes, so we're gonna have a friendship wall, hopefully. Yeah, <laughs> we're gonna have. We decided we're gonna have to have portable walls in our house so that we can just do the walls and then wheel them away, and so it reveals another wall. So there's like layers shoe racks of walls that rotate. Yeah. <laughs> Wouldn't that be nice? Okay, so the last thing we did together, besides, oh, we got to talk about crochet too. So. Oh yeah. Okay, but the last thing we did was kit up the exact same thing for my new stitch along that we're doing with um, Kimberly at Fat Quarter Shop. So as you know, my cross stitch charts, it's so Emma, which is a, the publishing division of Fat Quarter Shop, publishes my, oh good, you got it out with the plastic. <laughs> okay. Yours is so, it's Mine's in like, ah. And um, so we're gonna stitch on, what did we say this was? It is, is it? 
It's beach brew. Beach brew. 36 So Christy count. has 36 counts, count beach brew at her house, too. And so we just pulled all of the called for DMC. They're on the back of the chart. And we're going to start that. And I think that we should have the first section finished by March 3rd is what we're supposed to do. And so the sections are on Jolly Jabber blog and it, and it you know, kind of divides everything up of how you're supposed to have which section done on one date. But this is um, after one of my quilts for my latest quilt book, um, Prim and Proper, and you did that and you I showed did. it on your floss tube. I'm so excited to have it match the That's going to be fun. And it's our two favorite, well, two of our favorite hobbies is cross stitch and quilting. So it's just a perfect combo. That's right. And this was pretty close. This beach brew, this 36 count linen was pretty close to my prim 25 count Lugana, which is what this was um, stitched on. So that's what we're going to do. So we got that kitted up and we're going to get started on that. Like you want me to do that? Can. Here, well, back in there. <laughs> Because I'm going to grab my crochet. So every morning I crochet, and I have mentioned that before, but this is one of my jars. Or if you can't put it in there, like throw it on the floor. We can just, we'll pick it up. When we're finished with this segment, we'll just pick it up. <laughs> we'll just clean it up. <laughs> but anyway, so every morning I crochet a granny square. So cute. And then I stack them in here. Look at that little stack. Because I am going to finish with my, um, my tutorials, you know, with the series. I have a granny square series going on. And, you know, I'm going to do some pillows and stuff like that. So I've just been doing granny squares. Here's one of my jars. I just stack them up in. And so when, we're, when we were up camping, she taught me how to crochet. And very patiently. <laughs> I wasn't a very good student, I don't think, at yes, first. Yes, you were. <laughs> why, do, why does everyone think with crochet or anything or cross stitch that you just need to be taught something? Because you're a grown woman, you think that you just need to be true. taught something and in 30 minutes you're supposed to be an expert. Once your muscle memory like gets it down, yeah. it's, it's just smooth after that. Yeah, everybody's a beginner, no matter what, what age you are or anything. That's and then true. once you get it down, you get it down. But she was a great student. And so you're I have a tutorial here on my channel on how to make the granny squares. So you can crochet so, and learn from her directly. Yeah, if you want to. I'm a making square. a bunch of granny squares like um, Lori. And then I'm making the great big afghan. So I'm just going to make keep going around and around and around and have a so afghan. So this is surprise. your start. So you're just yep. going to keep. That's going to be so fun. I love it so much. And your chunky thread is so fun to use. It's perfect. It's yeah. like butter. I'm going to love that. <laughs> Thanks. I'm going to love that. I love scrappy crocheting just like I love I scrappy too. quilting. Because you can just grab any color you want. That's whatever right. you're in the mood for that day and go for it. It goes with any room. So we've been doing that. Okay. We're just going to set this aside. But keep a design board if we need it. Okay. Okay. And then why don't you show, I'm going to grab this basket because I have some stuff in here that that um, you're going to show your finishes that I've kind of oh, started. Oh, okay. So I'll just grab my stuff out of the basket as I, as you show yours. So we have the same taste in quilting and crochet and stitching. So whenever we've shown something that we're working on, I'm like, oh, I want to do that. So I hurry and go copy her or... I'm usually the one copying, but <laughs> no, that's not true. <laughs> but we, we have very similar. Trust me, we enable each other. <laughs> we do. I'm sure that we all do that. <laughs> um, but this is So Sisters by Plum Street Samplers, and I just love the babushkas and the. I love it. The tomatoes. And remember, I showed you last week. This was one of the charts that I um, had in my tomato bag. So I have not started it yet, and Christy's finished hers, but I'm definitely. I'm definitely going to be starting this. It's a fun stitch. I would almost stitch it again and do it as a drum next time. It's, it's I love one. the color. Did you, do you remember if you used all the color? I think for? it's tomato. I think that's yeah, the color see, tomato, I mean, the thread. That's like right before it gets totally, totally ripe. Well, it just depends on yeah. which tomato. Um, that's right. <laughs> you know, like the, you know, there's all different kinds. So, but I love the how it's orangey and red yeah. and, you know, everything. Okay, so there's that one. Finishes? Yeah, just pick okay. one up and then I'll go okay. through my basket and see so, what stage I'm in. Land, Land of Liberty by Blackbird. Oh, okay. I've got a couple finishes by the book um, Sweet Land of Liberty by Blackbird Designs. This first one, I don't know the name of it, but it's the front cover. I'll look. Sorry, without showing the thing. That's okay. Everybody I, wants to see your beautiful finish there. I so. stitched this on the called for 32 count Confederate Gray 
with the called for threads with one strand of floss over the 32 count. And it gives it a really primitive, just rustic y okay, finish. Okay, wait, let me see your. Oh, that's not it. Okay, American Eagle. American Eagle. But I can fold so. this back and show you. So there's that look. one. Yeah, American Eagle. So you've got that one in yeah. future plans. And so this one. Here, maybe you can okay, hold that up for a yeah. second. This yeah. is the one I started last week that I showed you on uh, my son, my oldest son, uh, Benjamin's birthday. And this one is called, I think this is called Sweet Land of Liberty. Oh, yeah. It's called Sweet Land, Land of Liberty. And it looks like this, and they're finished because they finished it round, but I'm just going to do mine square. So, so pretty. But that's this. what I stitched Friday night, and that's as far as I got. But it's a pretty it's good start. Ordinary. It's across the top of the, and this is on, of the little square. On flax linen? Yes. So pretty. I do my little pillows on flax quite a bit because it just looks good. on. It, it does. It's just everything. neutral. And then this last one is the little pillow. Oh, yeah, I forgot. <laughs> okay, i got to bring the book back out. And I loved stitching this. I didn't realize how small it was going to be because the... Okay. The picture is huge. This on one's it. called In Full Glory. But this is a small, fun, doable finish. And I just finished it on the back with some. That's so cute. I think it's Joe Morton fabric, and I love it. And I love that military pin that yeah. we have up there. So I, I want to stitch everything in that book. Just making my way through it. Me too. There's five projects in there, so it's right. it's like doable, you know. It's a good it's just a good not all at once. Again, you can stitch everything, just not all at once. <laughs> even though we're trying. <laughs> I always tell Lori that I wish I had stitch arms on Lilo and Stitch how his arms pop out. That would just be so convenient, <laughs> <Exactly>. wouldn't it? <laughs> and then they'd suck back in so we don't That's right. <laughs> okay, hey. so I mean I guess whatever order you want and I'll pick so, out. So this is Hen and Chicks oh. by by Brenda Gervais. Brenda Gervais with my needle and thread. I have mine kitted, but not started yet. And I did this one on all the call for everything. Oh, I love it. It's fun. And I put Lori Holt's fabric no, on the back. No, that's not mine. That's Tasha's. Oh, that's right. And isn't it cute? Look, it's so cute. That's perfect for it. This is Tasha Noel. She's another designer for um, Riley Blake. It is. I'm so cute. I mean, I'm like 99.9% .9 sure that it's hers. It is. It yeah. is. Okay. And, um, okay. And her fabric. Yeah, I don't know what really to pull out yet until you see what I, <laughs> till I <laughs> see your pillow. One. So this is the first hello okay. in the Summer School House series, Abbasidarian, Lessons yeah. in Abbasidarian by Brenda Gervais. And I just finished it into a pillow with some of Lori's Rick Rack, the vintage trim. Is that what it's called? Yeah, that's nutmeg color. And it's the large vintage the large trim. trim. And then I put Which, I mean, it's Rick Rack, but I just have a lot of yeah. different vintage trims, so it's it just so comes under that category. But And then I just put Blackbird Designs fabric on the back. I want to stitch all of them. And you did the call for, you said? Yep, the call for everything except the linen. Um, it calls for over one on Lugana, and I did it over two on 40 count. A mushrooms, Weigart. So. Okay, you know what? I'm like noticing the strawberry, but there's no tomato. I was gonna say I could put this in my tomato, but it's a strawberry yep. cushion. It's not okay. But here's number, here's number two. Very patriotic. And here's number three. And here's number four. In this whole series, so I just have them all together with the threads and stuff and. If I ever get my act together, like Christy has hers together, then I'll, <laughs> I'll start that one. <laughs> it's a big project, but it's so fun. Okay. So my next one. Is that? Oh, okay. Now I have this all in a bag. I'm not a Christy bag. Christy, <laughs> Christy made this bag for me out of my granny chic. But this is matching my, ones. This is my one. This is my start on this. And this is my finish, and it is Basket of Cherries. Yeah, it's Basket of Cherries, but let me pull out the charts, because this is just the first in the Garden Series by Blackbird Designs. This is the Garden Club Series, sorry. And so this is what the chart looks like. This is my start. But um, does it show in here, like, how they're finished? On the back, yeah, right there. So they've done all different different linens for each 
one in the series. There's 12 in the series. And so I'll show them to you. I've never showed you these on my class two before, but this is an amazing series. And you know, because I'm a gardener, of course I have to do that. But Ooh. maybe you can just pick those out so one by yummy. one while I'm showing. So what I'm saying is each one, I, I may have these in order, that would be nice. So this is two. And then each one, you do it on a different different cloth. And then you sew them together and frame it. So I don't know if I have these in order. Yeah, that's three. <laughs> and that's four. And then you can see on the back, again, let me turn that over, where it shows how the different fabrics look together. And then you do like... I think four rows across, three rows of four across, and then it ends up being 12. It's like a little patchwork quilt. Yeah. It's so pretty. So I love this because I love all different kinds of linens. And so this shows off all the different colors and kinds, but they're all the same count. So that, right? They're mm -hmm. all the same count. They're all the same count. Yeah. Yep. They're all the same count. They're all 36 count. And so because, so they have that all figured out on their, what's this paper? That doesn't need to be right there. Okay. Shepherd's Bush has this finished on their wall. I bought all of these fabrics at Shepherd's Bush a couple years ago. Okay, here's one that shows more. Shows nine as you're getting farther along what it looks like. And then there's the 12th one. I love it with all the Isn't different Isn't that linens. beautiful? It's so pretty. And look at this one has like a green. Green, yeah. You know, it's going to be so It's fun. just like a garden. You don't have to plant the same. So same I started thing in your mine. I don't know when you stitched yours, but I started mine when we were camping, and then that's yeah. and then I put it away, and that's all I got done. But I'm gonna I gotta pick that up too. Olivia from Pumpkin Hollow Quilts had a stitch along, I believe, a year and a half yes. ago, two years ago, and now I joined that and finished it with that. Well, but I then, joined it too, but I started it. <laughs> That's how it goes. I but yeah, Olivia, we, we did it for you. She's the one who, <laughs> yeah. <laughs> okay. Okay, so there's that. Put that back here. Oh, does that have a Cassidy? A Cassidy, Cassidy macrame? macrame? No. No. This is one I did not put on there. My heck. You better get on okay. it. <laughs> All right. So there's, there's, um, okay. We should have done I'm one like, I still time. have something left. That's why. That's right. You still have some pillows. Yep, two more. Okay, so this is Mice in the Sewing Room. Yeah, and this is another one in my tomato bag that I showed you that I'm going to do because it has tomatoes on it. I really wish that we could have magical Cinderella mice in the sewing room. That'd yes. Get our... And look just like those ones that, that Brenda <laughs> yeah. designed they're because cute. they're adorable. <laughs> and so then I finished it with Lori's um, lace. What's the name? Yes, my be my be cute lace in natural color. It's so cute and feminine. And it's the small size. Yeah. yeah. And then just put some... It's the one that fabric. has the little scallops on it. Yeah, it's so perfect. And so she just, she finished these here. Like the pillows were finished. She just stuffed them and put the lace up here. And so I just had some. And so I have the Aline's glue. And that's what we use. Just glue it on there. I've had these finished for probably about a year. And I've never finished them. So when I called her, I'm like, can I just finish them at your house? I'm like, <laughs> I have some stuffing. Bring them on stuffing, over. Stuffing, all the trim. And yeah. so it was perfect. And then so. this last one is the one, another one that was um, in my tomato bag that I showed you. I, and that's Queen of the Needle, right? I love this one so much. It's, yeah. By it's one of my very favorite stitches. Queen of the Needle. And I used Lori's Vintage Trim, the Rick Rack in large size. Mm -hmm. And then her, I've got thread everywhere. Oh, that's my So Cherry Gingham. That So Cherry Gingham. And every tomato needs a gingham finish. That's right. So I love that. Years ago, I did my, I have tomato pincushion tutorial that I did years ago on my blog. And that's the fabric. That's exactly yeah. what I made out, made my tomato pincushion out of. I wonder if it's sitting here. I don't know where that is. But anyway. Yeah, I love that so much. I need yeah. to make a whole basket full of I've made a million tomatoes million to from your tomato pincushions. Yeah. Okay. So <laughs> that's what we have of your finishes, that's right? That's right. Yep. And then I have some things that you have, may have seen, of course, <laughs> some as, some as uh, previously as last week. But this one is called Blessed Bee. Blessed Bee or Blessed Bee. I'm not sure how she... It might be Blessed Bee Yeah, by Brenda Gervais. And so I showed this quite a while ago on my floss too. But this is stitched on mystery linen for my stash. But I think 
it may have been, what was I telling you what it was? What's that? Witchelt. Yeah, Witchelt. Witchelt. It may have been be a Witchelt <laughs> one. I'm not sure. You started this when we were up at yeah, a friend's cabin. We were at our friend Rand's cabin. Yeah. And I stitched this a couple years ago. In one day. Then. In one day. She... It's not that big of a <laughs> stitch. But she... Probably from morning till night. It was fun to watch her. Stitch. Yeah. <laughs> it, let me see. It is so pretty. It's finished perfectly. And so this is one that's, you know, on my B-wall. She'd show it to us when she was in progress. And it would... It could stand up because this linen is so stiff, but she just stand on the table. See? <laughs> well, it really was an easy stitch because, you know, some stitches you're like, I don't know, like you just did the house. And then once I did the vines and everything, it was easy just to pop the yeah, flowers on the in. ends and fill in. It was it's pretty, so pretty. It was pretty fast. I love that one. I can't wait to and stitch it. And you were quilting it. away on your beautiful quilt that That's I was right. stitching. That's right. We always have fun together. And then, of course, I showed you this, but look at this bag that Christy has hers in. So... So last week I showed you this that I had finished a couple three weeks ago. I and that uh, so much that went frame, to Rose Manor. That frame is so perfect for it. You have such a good eye. I still haven't put my <laughs> put my stuff on the back. Because then Krista came to visit and that's right. Some things are just more I important. took all your time. <laughs> um so the bag is from Brenda Gervais online country stitches online shop. And you can order the panel directly from her, and then it just comes with the directions. It has the cute little cardinal on I the back. I love it on the back. Yeah. So I've got mine kitted up. I never started it. I had a, I had linen issues, so I couldn't decide what I wanted. So I've got it kitted up with Brenda's brew, and um, so the dirty linen. But I did it start look, it once. Does it look like mine? That dirty. So this is dirty oh, yeah. linen. What I use, which is the called for, or for originally when she did it. Yeah, so I did start it, and then I, I think I'll probably do the Brenda's Brew. You changed some thread colors. Well, I changed my thread colors because uh, the call fours didn't look right on mine. I think Oscar's dye lot has changed a little yeah. bit. So, and so that's the issues you've been having yeah. with that one too. So, so I'll probably restart that on the Brenda's Brew. But I love that. But oh, that's one that we're. Oh, do you have your scarecrow now? Do you keep this, this up all pack? year long? Yeah. Well, right now it's hanging in my bedroom. Small, so. Again, it's wintry and snowy here. That's right. Did you? Is this one and in your raining, pile? And raining oh, dirty is. snow. <laughs> okay, so this one is my... Um, oh, that's noisy. Yeah, pull that chart out because I don't have mine. Sorry, I should have taken this out of this cellophane bag first. I like that noise on Floss 2 videos. Well, that one was really noisy. <laughs> <laughs> so this is my pumpkins for sale. So and I did it last year for um, Stitchtober, along with Kimberly and Fat Quarter Shop. That's right. And, oh my gosh, look what <laughs> Christy's stitching hers on. That's so Mine cute. is 32 Count Old Town Blend by r, r This is such a fun, fun stitch. I didn't have all the called for floss, so I was just waiting, and then fall was over, so I didn't finish. But yeah. I can't get. But I can't how, wait to get back to it. So this one I stitched on uh, my 25 Count Lugana, and this is the one that I... Um, did a tea dye tutorial on so so i tea dyed the linen and then i stitched on it but i, love that so I just love how how that turned out and i love yeah. the difference in them so look at my scarecrow has a pink <laughs> gingham shirt and look at yours and i did red perfect I well you know the... gingham's great in any color it's it's perfect that's right for a scarecrow and he's so cute he needed a gingham. And look at your just... cute gingham shirt you're wearing that's perfect <laughs> to okay well we're farm girls so i had to wear it that's right we're in utah that's right so um we're reaping what we sow so i showed you this a couple months ago or when i did this i did this two years ago and this you is should. called when flowers blossom oh, okay sorry am i holding that up high enough this? Yep, that's perfect. That. Okay. So this one I stitched on 28 count Lugana mushroom and I stitched it on that because I wanted it to fit in this frame and then it still needed to be a little bit wider. So hold up the chart and so let me. Oh, okay, yeah. so over on this side I added. I just hold it up upside down. <laughs> I, it just needed to be a little bit wider so I just added like a beehive and I extended. I can't see the front. So I extended the, the fence. And I added a beehive and another bee, and I took the hearts that were over here and I did four more in a row. So that it added. fit this frame that I had bought on clearance for like $10 or something like that at Hobby Lobby. 
and in their framing department. And so it was pretty. perfect for this. Oh. And so this is on my B-wall. And I've got it all kitted up. I can't wait to stitch that. Are it's you going to so put beautiful. yours in the tray? Like I think so. I bought the tray so for pretty. it and everything. <laughs> so pretty. I love that. Okay, so there's that one. You're so creative then, with finishes. Okay, so this one, as I showed you last week too, that I picked this up from um, the craft center. I took it to Jamie at the craft center and she framed it. And you're going to do that one too? Do you have it? I started, do. I have it kitted. all kitted, just kitted. Just it's, kitted. Um, that's it. When you have it kitted, that's like almost a start. Oh, that's because right. That means you can just pick it up and go. So I've got it with the L, the call for L with all the threads. Oh, that's what that, let me and see my how that's very spelled. fancy project bag. I want to, I don't know why I've never stitched on. Oh, it's A-L. L. I thought you were. Am I saying it wrong? No. Am I saying it like a country No, you're girl? not saying it wrong. <laughs> I'm saying it wrong. It's like L. I thought yeah. when you said L, it was like E-L-L-E. -L -L -E. Oh, like an ill in it. Yeah, and I was water. like, I've never heard of that cloth, but now I know what it is. It's L. I love that. I okay. probably said it wrong. <laughs> no, it was me. It was me and my Utah accent, but you have a Utah accent. That's right. You grew up here too, so. I just live a little bit more rurally. <laughs> I grew up in the most rural town in Utah That's ever right. in the world, so I don't think you get me. Gonna... You get me. Okay, so let oh let's show this one. Well, let's show it okay. next because it's on top of your pile. Okay. That's, <laughs> so I, I did not show this last week because I knew that I wanted to show it this week for when Christy came. So this is my framed piece that I picked up um, from the craft center from Jamie as well, and I love this mm. frame. It's perfect. She did such a good job. I love their framing. Oh, but if you take it over there, she can put... I'm going to have to copy. Yeah. Exactly. So, so that's... So Feast so Friendship. Feast of Friendship. This is something I started camping. Christy wanted to start it too. She's like, let's do it together. And then it turned into like, we invited y'all to stitch. And so many of you did. And it was so fun. Yeah. that And it's truly been such a special piece because you all joined us. Yes. It just made 2020 that much better. And so we put our initials. That's right. On it. So K and L, K and, and L, L and K. So that that's feast so of fun. friendship. And I'm so excited to have this framed. And I have not hung it up yet. Where am I gonna hang up? I don't have a winter and fall wall. This is on. <laughs> this is on my in my living room already. Oh, but okay, I love so this one so, so. I just much. showed it to you again last <laughs> week. But Christie's working on hers, and so. We decided to show you hers and what hers looks like. So this is, of course, All Creatures Great and Small by Barbara, Barbara Anna Designs. Here, let me take this chart. So when we were up sewing at our friend's cabin, she had this with her. And I had started it, but I had set it aside. And I... So then after that, we stitched it together and we would text each other our progress on Sundays. But as you can see, she got a lot further. <laughs> I saw a squirrel. Well, I had start stitching on it. I had a lot done and I had it kept it in my trailer. And literally this took me a couple of years to stitch yeah, because it's a big stitch. I didn't stitch on it exclusively. I just would stitch on it when I was in my trailer. And then when I went camping or glamping, as we like to say. That's right. <laughs> and um, then when I was getting towards the end, towards the finish, then I brought it, you know, into the house. And I was just like, I'm going to finish this. I love your color changes and her red barn. Yeah, so I did. It's the perfect red. So I'm going to unstitch my barn. It's too purpley for my taste. She's going to use my favorite red, 347. 347. And that's what I used in mine. <laughs> so I'm going to make that change and get her done. Okay. So... Next up, we, we're going to have to take a break for a second and clear this stuff off, and then we'll come back because we got <laughs> we're just a whole other the whole load room. of stuff to bring in of stuff that we're stitching together, like, or that she's stitching and I'm started or vice versa. So, okay, we'll be right back. We're back. <laughs> we got a new pile. We have a new pile of stuff. We have <laughs> piles here. We have piles down here. Okay, so I have not showed this on Floss 2 before, but I'm going to talk about this now. This is my Prim Stitch Series. Cass, can you see that yep, little thing? Yep, that's perfect. Okay, so this is Prim Stitch Series, and I'm stitching all of mine together. This, I designed this pattern. Oh, where do I start? Okay, so this started last July, and it's a club through Fat Quarter Shop. So I designed this pattern that, that um, looks like my Prim quilt. And right now we're on block eight. 
which is that what you're showing right uh -huh. now? Well, this is the first one. Oh, no, that's one. number one. Okay. Right. So let me talk about this for a minute. And then you have the first one done, right? And then you can show it. But so what I'm doing is I'm stitching on 25 count Lugana. And I did all of my borders first because I'm doing it all on one piece. And so I'm just ready to fill in the last three. We're on eight now. And now you kind of get a little sneak peek of nine, which is kind of sort of a surprise, but it's turned into a not surprise because everybody, you know, that has who quilts has seen my quilt and I keep showing it and then they obviously know what the next block is. <laughs> what it's gonna look like but sometimes it's a little different a little bit of coloring changes and stuff but it's anyway so pretty so we're into eight we started last month and Kimberly is doing each one of them and as the stitch along and she's doing them individually and I'm I finish them and frame them for her and then she's gonna put them like all on a gallery wall or something. But I'm gonna do one piece right here, 25 count Lugana, prim, and I use my um, prim Aura floss that has 20 spools in it. And I'm using two strands, two strands of the Aura floss and um, over two on my prim, on my Lugana. That's so pretty. And oh, I've, that's a new one. That's not even out of the packages. I've joined Ooh. the stitch along. I decided to start it in January. So I'm stitching one block a month so that by the end of the year, I'll have it finished. And I'm using the Aura Fill Floss as well, but I'm doing it on 36 count Fawn by Picture This Plus. Look how cute it is, tiny too. <laughs> I love this so much. It is so folk arty and just... I just love it. I love things like... When you look at the chart, it's like I either I either say I want to make that a lot bigger or I want to make that a lot smaller. Yeah. It's like I just I don't know what it is. Are it's you the same so, way that you just like to see things either too. just like it's, a totally different size? I mean, sometimes exactly the same. When she pulled hers out, I had like, never oh, seen her stitch, and I was like, "Oh my heck, yours is so huge!" She's like, "I want to do that one that size." <laughs> I go, "Well, I want to do one your size too." <laughs> but they're fun. I love this so much, and it's just easy stitching that. And this Aurafil floss is like a dream to stitch with. It. Is I, it not? I love Aura floss. It's awesome. Love Aura floss. You can never go wrong with with using that. I mean, it's perfect, and it comes on little wooden spools. I, I mean, so then you have a little, little collection when you're done. Yeah. Okay, I'll put that back. I'll put that back in a minute. Okay. Because we've got to get on to the next thing. Okay, so the next thing that's on my stack here is let me put it here so i can hold it up well i probably don't even need a design board to hold this up because i haven't cut my fabric look how big this fabric piece is <laughs> it's like huge Half it's, like, it's like this <laughs> <laughs> and i haven't cut it down yet because i usually start like i said in the top right corner and then as i stitch oh, across like the width I'll have to stitch the top width and then I'll have to stitch the right side width all the way down and then I'll cut my cloth. Yeah, and that's how I am too. I don't cut it until Yeah, and then I've I cut it and zigzag the edges yeah. and stuff like that. So that for right now it's staying in a half just like this. And so this is the Heartland Sampler. Heartland sam Sampler by, by the Scarlet, Scarlet House. House. And when she started it, I decided of course that I needed I had FOMO and needed to start it as well. So I've started mine on Vintage Sand Dune by Lakeside Linens. That's and so pretty. They're both so pretty, but so different. It's you fun did the to weeping, see them on the... You, she started the Weeping Willow tree, and I've done the, the, the cherry, the apple tree, the heifer. The heifer. <laughs> <laughs> and um, the garden. I've planted my garden. That's right. Yeah. You reap what you so sow. So we're getting there. They're so fun. And it looks beautiful on both linens and... Or, yeah, I just, I thought it would be really fun to see, you know, the difference in what things look like with different linens and threads. We use a lot of the same threads or, you know, Yeah, I usually like know I'm copying. <laughs> it's, not I like copy, her it's not copying when I say <laughs> I changed this thread in case you want to know. Because That's right. she's always like, tell me if you change anything. Oh, wise one. <laughs> <laughs> okay, so this one is... The progress I have done so far, I haven't worked on this for a while with a salt box quilt sampler. And I just have a tiny start. I'm stitching mine on vintage country mocha. It's like, it's ABC. Yeah, like 40 school. count. I'm going to finish mine into the little box that's shown on the cover. 
And I don't know what I'm going to finish mine into. I'm just going to do it and then I'll look around the house and see if there's anything that would look, you know, really cute with it. If not, I can take it over to Jamie over to Craft Center and have her That's right. frame it and I can put it on my sampler wall. Because right. it's a sampler because it's, sampler. it's got the alphabet. alphabet. And houses. And if you are new to stitching on higher count linen and want to give it a try, this vintage country mocha is a really good one to try because it's what is it an even weave? I don't think it is all linen. It's still is, linen okay. So but, all linen is even weave, meaning they weave it you right. know, evenly, but yeah. each strand is not the same thickness. Meaning some are super thin and some are super thick and may have a little bit like little slubs in it or yeah. something. So it's all even. Linen is even weave, but it just doesn't doesn't look even because there's like skinny, skinny fat the or fat skinny, thickness. whatever. It's just like because it's a natural, yeah. you know. So and Lugana is an even weave because, and you can call it a true even weave because... Like it, all of the strands that it's woven with are the exact, exact same, same size. Thickness. Yeah. Yeah. Thickness so, around um, diameter or whatever you want to say. And this is still linen. It's not a Lugana or anything, but it is a really good one to start with if you want to try 40 counts right. for the first time. It's mm -hmm. just, I don't know what it is, I have but it's so easier. Much, so, much, so many things that I yeah. you know, have stitched on that. It's just like butter. It's really it's good. It's like butter. Okay. This is Ann Morrison, right? Yeah. Do you have the chart to show? I do. This is my start on Ann Morrison. Here, I'm going to do this so it's on this side. My linen's trying to curl up on me. And that's Christy's start on Ann Morrison. And this is the I stitch along. I think we along. should do this like at one point. <laughs> <laughs> this is the stitch along with traditional stitches and um, hands across the sea. And it's a monthly sal yeah broken into so, 12 months yeah so hands across the sea it's a um exclusive design by hands across the sea for traditional for tradition, stitches yeah yeah and so you can only get the chart there but this is oh, this I is love a really it. cute sampler and you know i love it so much. i know i keep saying this but i i will get back to this because it is on my schedule so and i'm stitching mine with the avera swa that's the call for and you're using dmc well i yeah i'm doing the dmc call for it except for i changed one red but i talked about it last week okay. on my so I don't really need to, you know, if you want to know about that, you can look at my last week's floss tube and then I'm going to be talking about it in my next one because I'll have a whole bunch more. It's Maybe so I'll have pretty. It done. <laughs> I usually am trying to do a floss tube on the first Friday of every month, which last week was my normal floss tube schedule. But because Christy was coming and was here, we're just like, we're going to throw another one in there. Extra one. Yeah. <laughs> I'm so thank you so much for having me. I've been having so much fun. No, thank a, you. I don't want to go home. <laughs> yeah, it's been really, really fun. Then I'll have to go back to my regularly yes. scheduled program. That's right. We'll have to be adults Christy again. <laughs> <laughs> okay, so this one, I haven't showed you this for a while, but I did show you as part of my Stitchtober. But I started this while we were glamping. In our trailers That's so pretty. last year. So pretty. Autumn at Hawk Run Hollow. And you're stitching it on straw, straw by Weeks Dye Works. And I'm stitching yeah. it on straw by Weeks Dye Works. We're doing the same thing. So when I, so you tell the story. So I was taking it and <laughs> stitching it because you yep. know it better than I so do. So you started it in July. We started it in July. And I had already started it the previous year. And I just was having a really difficult time because it was on 40 count and it's a tight, a different tight weave linen that I was struggling with. This is like full coverage. So when I saw hers with the over dyed thread conversion from Shepherd's yeah, Bush. Yeah, she said, look at your threads. And I said, I got them from Shepherd's oh. Bush because you can, if you want to, you know, if you want to purchase those from Shepherd's Bush, they will give you their conversion. And that's amazing because their conversion is absolutely gorgeous. I mean, look at it. Mm -hmm. And there's a silk in there too, right? There's yep. one. There's a thread work primitive. Or, uh, I can't remember. It's, um, do you have it. it hanging there? Yeah, I'll get it really quick. I didn't bring my floss ring out here because you had yours and they're the exact same colors. It's in the reds. I wonder if you put it on a thread drop right here. Well, was this it in the reds? Are you sure? Right there. I rusty, was going to say, I didn't think it was a red. It's, it's rusty amber. Yeah, by Thread Gatherer. That's so fun. Trying yeah. to pull in Nicole here with the. I know. <laughs> but so I restarted it because I just, I mean, it's just, it's just beautiful. It's just so pretty so, on that straw and just, 
just the over dies on it. So, that's right. and also I told Christy, I'm not going to do the, where's that chart again? Yeah. I'm not going to do the, um, I told her then I'm going to take these two Halloween out, even though, you know, nothing's wrong with Halloween. I just want this fall. It's like autumn at Hawker and Hollow. And I just want to put it with my decor. Yeah. Yeah. And so I'm, so I'm completely speed. taking these out and then moving those two up. And it, you know, it's not going to matter the design because these are all the exact same size. Yeah. But now you're going to replace yours. So I'm replacing Aren't you going to replace them? Like you're not going to move them up, but you're going to put two different ones in there. So all of um, Kathy Barrick's Hawk Run hollows have the same stitch count. And so you can literally take different charts and replace it with a different. So this is the farms at Hawk Run Hollow. And so in those two blocks, because I'm stitching Halloween at Hawk Run Hollow, I'm going to stitch this barn with the willow tree and the church. Which I think is so perfect. But I, I know when she showed it to me, she's like, do you want to do that? And I'm like, I don't know, because I might want to stitch that whole thing. This is so you. As a farm girl, that is me. That's like so me. So I'm probably just going to take mine, keep my two off, move them up, and I'll probably end up just stitching that. Maybe next year yeah. we'll do another floss tube. Or maybe five years from now when I finish this <laughs> one. I don't know. This is a long-term project. Do another project. one and say, hey, I'm starting that one. That's so. right. And I'll probably copy it in, too. <laughs> I live to serve. <laughs> okay, so um, this one is coming to America. And I started this last year when Brenda had this. Was it a, was it a sale? Yeah, it she started had? on September 6th yeah. when they left. Right, but I knew I wasn't going to be able to land my ship <laughs> on time. But I did stitch to this point. I did it for one of one of my camping trips. I worked on it in the trailer. And got to that point, but I'm going to try to land my ship this, uh, this Thanksgiving. That's right. And she had started it and I saw her linen and this is 40 count vintage country mocha. That's right. And I didn't love the way the threads were looking on the linen that I had chose. So I am restarting because all vintage country mocha. I love Lori's taste. So I'm stitching on vintage country mocha. So I just have a little tiny start, baby start, but, <laughs> but look at that cute bag. So these are from... Brenda Gervais Country Stitches Online website and it comes as a panel and then you finish it yourself. But they're I need to have a cute bag since it's it's out in the ocean. It hasn't landed yet. So <laughs> that's right. It's just like out there flail, flailing. That's right. Waiting, <laughs> waiting to land. Wait to find some land. Okay. So this one is what I showed you last week too. The Milk and Cream Company. And Christy's had that one planned for a while, so she's going to kit that up. And this is, um, I don't think I stitched on any more this week. So this is the same progress yeah. that I had last week. But this is one of my January starts for one of my brother's birthdays. And so, I love the Lugana that you chose of yours to yeah, stitch Yeah, this on. is Farmhouse, 25 count Lugana. And it's just like, got, has a little bit of pink. So and then pretty. I just pulled for my stash, and I showed last... Um, I showed last week, didn't I? My, I, I'm yeah. pretty sure I showed my color conversion you last did. week. But if I didn't last week, then next month, next time I do my floss tube, like in three weeks, then I'll have that. It's so perfect. But All the cows. I usually do show my color conversion, so I'm pretty sure I did. But I will, I'll make sure I do if I haven't yet. It's perfect on that Lugana. It's the big. Lugana you don't think is it's so, going to be so big. It's so fast to stitch on. It I is. can stitch on Lugana twice as fast. I agree. And I can, I stitch in hand. I don't use a hoop or anything, which means I can, you can usually stitch faster on linen. And I do, I think I'm a pretty fast stitcher, but when I stitch on Lugana, I'm like, I'm like speedy, like on the you rain are. track, on the racetrack. <laughs> yeah, it is. It goes by faster for some reason. I don't know what it is. I don't, I don't know why. The even either. weave and for me anyway, it does. I don't know if it's like that for everyone, but it is for me. It is. I agree. What are we talking about next? I'm, you're going to show your pile because oh, these are ones that, so right. these are ones that Christy has in progress that I only have kitted, which is pretty good, you know. Well, no, I, some, some I might have. Okay, let's see what you got. And some of them are just tiny starts, but this oh, is. Oh, this one I have kitted, yeah. And you just barely kitted this recently. Yeah, I just barely kitted this. I'm doing mine on a Vintage Country Mocha. So it's Merrily Merrily with Welcome Spring by Blackbird Designs, and this is on Oaken 
by picture this plus 36 count with all the called for threads. Are you stitching yours with the called for? Yes, yeah. that's yeah. what I've got here. But usually, you know me, once I get started, I always have to look at the reds and greens and then maybe, maybe I decide to change them or sometimes I don't. That's but right. I never, I never pin anything in. I pencil things in you because you never know until yeah. I start to stitch and I have to see it on the cloth to see if it makes me happy. If it doesn't make me happy, then I switch it out till I'm happy. That's right. And that's what's fun about us showing our projects next to each other is we stitch on different counts, we stitch on different colors, and so hopefully it'll give you yeah. more courage to right. this stitch is, stuff. Which is exactly why, want. right? I yeah. wanted to do, I, I asked Christy if she would do this with me while she was here because <laughs> I baked her. Because I'm like, well, I film, you know, Cassidy comes over every Friday and I film and you're going to be here. So That's right. I can film, you know, a quilt tutorial or something else unless you know and you can just stitch in the other room or something no, no this <laughs> you could is just so be fun. right with me sewing and but anyway she's like no because let's do it because I just think it's so fun I like to anyway see you know different sizes of cloth and colors and stuff like that so it's we've had so much fun stitching all this week and and when we go out and when we go camping our, our husbands are friends and get along and we go camping together and glamping, I call it, because when we say, if you're not a camper, right? right, people, we get questions all the time. They're like, why are you out camping in the dirt in a tent? We're With like, your linen, no, cross -stitching. no you're we're dirty. not. We are not in a camping in a tent. We have all the luxuries in our trailers that we have at home and it's comfortable. It's wonderful. And we're out in nature and we, we just, even have we our just love it. Cross stitch lights and everything. We, we take our lamps with us, everything. So we're all good to go. So this okay. is Oh Joyous Day by Blackbird Designs. And oh, yours is so pretty. I just have a tiny start. Wait, let me see yours. Oh yeah, I never did see that. That's so cute. So mine's on 36 count. What is yours on 36? This is 36. The same size? This is Legacy yes, Linen by Picture okay. This Plus. And let me find my library card in here because it's been so long since I told you. But this is, oh yeah, this is on uh, Winter White. By Seraphim. It's so pretty. Those Isn't colors. Isn't that pretty? Just, this is the first time it. I've stitched on Seraphim and, or this color, obviously, but I love it. It's, it's so like pretty. Really, any any sampler is going to go on that. And this was the one I was talking about that I. It's a wedding sampler for my other parents, who were my husband's parents. So it's the perfect color scheme. I just have to finish them. that up and take it over to Craft Center and get that framed. Okay, is that the end of your pile there? No. Nope. Oh, no. <laughs> She's got... <laughs> we We're like, just going to keep going. <laughs> we both like to have a lot of whips, and it doesn't bother us. It's just fun no. to have variety, and if you get bored stitching on something, then grab the next project, and well, eventually we'll that'll get done. And we stitch different things with different people, and different right. seasons, and different reasons. That's right. And so, we just... I like to just have a lot of things kid and a lot of things going, but I like to spend quite a bit of time. Do you know what I mean with each one? I'm yeah. not one that can do a different one every day and a lot of people can and I know you That's can right. do that. I switch sometimes daily but sometimes you switch like two in one day like that will do right. something. You and know? I've done that while I've been And that's too. great but that's just not me. I like to like sit in a project for a little while. Yeah, give a little it a bit, little bit of love. A little bit of comfortable unless I have like three <laughs> stitch starts in a row then I just start <laughs> them but then I can get back to them. Yeah. Some birthday birthday and a birthday, holiday. Birthday and birthday yeah. Okay, so the next one is Heart and Hand, and this um, is by With Thy Needle and Thread. Oh, and I just have that. I just have my chart. Hit it. So, so fun. this linen is a really interesting linen because when you either video it or take a picture of it, it shows up gray. Does it look gray, Cassie? We'll see what it looks like in my sewing room. Um, I think it looks pretty true to color. You can kind of tell it's kind oh, of good. bluish um, teal. But it's a Dove by Weeks Dye Works. And it's really... Is that what the call for? Uh-huh. Yeah. yeah. It's a really fun stitch. And I'm about, about halfway, I'd say. I need to get this one finished. And this is Heart in Hand. Do we say this by Brenda? Yeah. Brenda Gervais. Okay. And then I've made it a matching project bag again by Brenda. So, but that one is just I so... I love it. It's just... It has a little bit of everything. It's perfect. This is what I love about it. Those white blossoms yeah. on that blue green teal fabric. It's just so and the man and the so woman. eye catching. So beautiful. Yeah, the man and the women. I love Brenda's mm. women that she designs. 
They're so, so pretty. Everything's so yeah. She looks very genteel. Yeah. Water, watering her flowers. Very vintage looking. Okay, this is my chart, I think, is it? Yep. You know, okay. Better not be still my chart. <laughs> I know. I said if I'm gonna steal anything of Christie's, it's gonna be your silks. So put them away. <laughs> Item. <laughs> Just kidding. I'm at her house and there's lots of Just beautiful kidding. things that I should grab on my way out, but <laughs> I don't know where they are if they go missing. She knows where I live, so <laughs> Okay. Oh, let me pull I think out. we're we've got two more left. Okay. I think yeah. So this is well for this. Then we got some other stuff to yeah. talk about. So. <laughs> so the next one is loose feathers by Blackbird Designs, and it's summer, autumn, and winter. Okay. So here's what the autumn one looks like. This is summer. Mm -hmm. Oh, do you want to hold yours up yep. here? Okay. So this is summer and autumn, and then I've got the alphabet and the dividing bands done, and then. This is what winter looks like. And I'm stitching this with all the called for threads on the linen that is called for, which is, I don't know if it's made anymore or not, but it's um, 30 count Irish cream by r, &R Fabrics, r, r Reproduction. Oh, it might. Yeah, it might yeah. be. So I love it. It's, I need to get back to and it. And so you put the, so here's the three, but that's where the three seasons go. But. Yeah, so one, two, and three. It's a really fun And one. spring is all of them, apparently. Yep. <laughs> spring. There's no spring. They just spring skip right just, over. It's like, it's just involved, which is sometimes how Utah is, I right? was just going to say. Well, we always get a spring, but sometimes it's really short and it goes right into summer or... Goes straight from winter to or summer. Or the other way around. Yeah. So... I always tell Lori where I live, I have six months of winter, so... <laughs> she, lives in nor she lives more in northern Utah than I do, so she it's a lot colder. You have you to wear your snow boots and winter coat a lot. Okay, I think there's two more actually. There's flag folk and then there's... Oh, let's show flag folk. Okay, so this one is a bag that Christy made for me out of my flea market. <laughs> so pretty, those fabrics. This cheater cloth, I had to put that on there. It's, it's genius. That's my cheater cloth. I usually been so doing fun. what I call it, or my grandma used to call cheater cloths. You yeah. know, because it looks like it's already done, but we cheated and it's just, it's not. That's right, you so, could just quilt it and have... Yeah. A pretty okay so all I bag. have is mine kitted but you have yeah. your started so I um, am stitching this on 36 count ancient I think that's the name of it by picture this plus and this is by not forgotten farm did we say not that forgotten farm I did oh you have that. the chart okay so flag folk I didn't see you have the chart there and you've got yours, you kitted yours last I'm, night I kitted it last night because I am starting this for President's Day so tonight, today is Lincoln's birthday, so I'll be starting my Lincoln's Eagle that I told you about last week. And this I'm doing on 36 count Wren, Edinburgh, and I just pulled, I'll just pick them up one by one. I just pulled from my stash. There was a couple, whoop, there was a couple of greens that was needed, and a blue, and a red, and a white. Those look perfect those. on that linen. So I'm gonna do that do that it's been fun watching you kid up stuff in your process I, <laughs> yeah i learned a few things she's just over here. there in my stitching chair stitching while i'm like going through all my linens <laughs> and i go through all my flosses but for what i typically do is i go through the colors i look at the chart see what symbol goes to where so i can see exactly what colors are connected you know what i'm saying yeah. like is it one red or is it three reds or is it you know that kind of thing and then i write down what i need like two greens a red a gold a white a blue and then I pick all my colors, my flosses, and I like how they look together. And then I have a floss toss that I can do because I have right. all of my colors picked. And then I pull out all my linens and just, you know, toss them on there, floss toss. It's fun to watch a designer in her process. And uh, well, yeah, but I didn't design this, so I, I know, just pull but my own fabric. you store your threads by but, rainbow so that she can pull the color instead of the name. And it's the exact opposite of how I store mine. Because I'm not a designer, I don't look for the colors. It's just yeah. interesting to watch. For the me, I could care less what the color is called. It's just about the colors. So right. I don't want them in alphabetical order, or numerical order, or anything. Like I want all my reds together, all my greens together, everything together. And I just pull it out and say, this is the red I want. And then I see what name it is and then I write it down. So and it makes for some very yummy looking drawers of. Yes, Reds I have <laughs> all color coded. And that's, you know, if you follow me, if you're a quilter and you follow me, um, on that, you know, that's how I store my fabric as well. Everything I store in 
in color, not mm -hmm. collection. Yeah. And I do that with my fabric, but not with my cross stitch for some reason. Yeah. So Okay, so we have one more. One more. Which one? And that is Harriet oh, Elizabeth yes. Co. And that and one I've got kitted. Ready to go. But I haven't picked my linen yet. And I just have a baby start on this as well. Um, but we want to stitch this this year. Yeah, we just started, started it. But I can't remember. Do you remember what your fabric is? So this is 36 count Old Town Blend. Oh, by so it's the call for yep. them. And oh, but theirs is 30 count and yours is 36 count. Yeah, I did the count. 36 count. And I have some of that in my stash. I just haven't pulled it out yet. So I'll probably just do the same thing because why not? Okay. The, I'm going to copy you. That's right. The alphabet is all in Al Algerian. Is that how you say that word? Algerian yes. eyelets. Mm -hmm. And then so is this red dividing band. So I still stitch my eyelets in hand. You just start from the left and go over. You probably start in the right corner and then go over. I do. I start in the right corner and go around. And sometimes you can just do half and half too so that the threads yeah. are pulling yep. the correct way because you because you want to leave you a hole. leave the eye open so that you don't see the thread yeah, going Yeah, so I kind of just do hole. half and then start up on the other half. Does yeah. that make sense instead of going all the way around? That's just kind of what I do yeah. so that I leave my hole open there. Yeah. So I'm not covering that hole. That's what I that I just worked so hard to create with exactly. like my last thread or something. <laughs> so that's right. But they're fun. They're fun to do. Um, a lot of people don't like them, but I really enjoy stitching them. Oh, so. I love them. Yeah. But that's a lot of Algerian eyelets in one. But track, I can so. see for those who don't <laughs> stitch in hand how it may take longer to do. Oh, and yeah. so, but because I do it the sewing method way still. Yeah. It's just smooth. So it's just smooth. faster. So maybe that's why they're not. If those, you know, maybe they don't like it if they don't stitch in hand. I don't know. Yeah. I don't know. It's just meditative and yeah. Uh, I think it's I think it's pretty it's therapy. It's just a different stitch. Okay, so so that's what we have there, but we want to talk about red work. Do you have yep. your sampler? Did we skip ahead or is that what we're supposed to talk about next? Yep. I got right here. We may get out of order. Let me consult my notes. <laughs> I have, we have to write everything down of what we were going to do or we're going to, oh yeah, so it is, it's red sampler time. That's okay. right. We had the biggest mess all over the room last night as we were oh my head. getting everything ready to film because it was crazy. we don't just have one person's stuff, okay. it's two. Okay, I gotta oh. pull out this cutie patootie and I have this basket I don't think I need anymore. So... Here, I can. I just want to make sure I don't need it before. Okay. Okay. So you start talking about that. that. Okay. So when Lori showed in her last floss tube that she stitches for the first few minutes when she sits down two or three strands of floss into a red alphabet sampler, I'm like, that is the most genius idea. And I've, why haven't I been doing that? I thought that was the best idea ever. So. I've got kitted up here, Little Red Work Pin Keep by Stacy Nash. And I'm all ready to go. I've got the 36 count beach brew with Schoolhouse Red because I had to get this from Brenda, or because of Brenda, um, her favorite red. And I'm gonna start that. That's the same thing that we're using for our um, prim and proper. Oh, that's right, that's right. So you just need to piece that side. Okay, yeah. so so I, of course, obviously have the same chart. <laughs> and I had it in my bag of red samplers that I showed you last week. So, But look on the back, too. That's so cute. So you can stitch it all together, or you can do... I've seen somebody... Oh, I don't remember who it was, but somebody just finished it where they did the top and bottom okay, together. Okay, wait. It, that's what I mean. Is this... Wouldn't that be hard to... That would be so awesome, but wouldn't it be hard to line up and make them... Maybe. Exactly. Well, you'd have maybe do it by hand so that yeah. you could, I don't know, but that would I be cool. I think she might have stitched it on one piece and then just flipped this instead, like, yeah, that'd up, be instead of upside cool. down for the pillow. But yeah. So I'm really excited to do that. And so I want a wall of red samplers, so. Right. So what she was talking about, this is what I talked about um, last week, but I have made more progress on it because since last week, do you want to hold it up? Yeah. Christy, because, and um, this is Red Rhapsody. Because I do just take one or two, it's always at least one, and sometimes I'll take two. And I'm just using the um, the silks, Kringle's coat, and um, even if I'm mid-letter or mid-design, when the thread's done, I just, I'm done with that until tomorrow. So pretty. And so I really haven't spent a lot of time 
with this at all, but look yeah. how much I've got accomplished. I've only spent a little bit every day, literally, probably 10 minutes. You just put in a couple yeah. lengths of floss a day in it. And so even from last week, you know, I think I finished this alphabet and all these yeah. motives and everything from... You stitched this while I've been From here. six days. Yeah. Yeah. And, and she would days. just do it a few minutes each time. So I already went ahead and was pretty brave and put, because in this section right here, it shows you to put the year. And I put in 2021 because that's when I'm going to finish it. Because, that's right. hello, we're only in February, <laughs> right? You'll so get I should done. be able to finish that. And then I told Christy, yeah, I'll, I'll start this next with you. But I showed you my red samplers. I have a ton. And so I'll pretty. just keep adding to that bag. Yeah. But... When, we gotta follow the law. We right. have to have red samples. <laughs> when I talked about it last week, I showed you this little chart. Can you hold that up? <coughs> Bless you. You don't realize how much <coughs> talking, talking dries your mouth out. This is how I am when I'm filming too. I have to take your. I have some water here. Then I'm good to go. Okay. Watching her stitch this. So, so I pulled that out of the bag last week and I said, this is so tiny. I need to just stitch this. And so I did. And that's why I brought this doll out. Because I decided to stitch it in this little three inch hoop. And because I wanted it in this little three inch hoop, because I wanted my doll to hold it. And by the way, this doll was made for me by Nicole on Instagram. And she's Raggedy Old Annie's. Yep. And I've bought several dolls from her. And, um, she made this one for me and put vintage sewing. There's buttons and scissors. Scissors. And you, I can't really see the, the front from that. But anyway, and then she put a crown on her and, you know, she just made her so darling. And I just thought she needs to have, yeah, I'm a quilter. I'm yeah. a sewer, but I'm also a cross stitcher. So I picked the smallest hoop that I had in my cupboard. And so that meant that I had to take... <laughs> Take the pattern and I had to stitch it one over one. So this is one over one on 36 count linen. And I used my favorite red, my 347 red. And that's DMC. what it looks like. Yeah, DMC 347. And that's what she looks like. And I just sewed her on the other arm. And so she sits in my red chair on top of my blue cupboard here in my sewing room. And now I can see that just hanging over her arm like that. And I'll be able to see it. And I just love it. So idea. I had to do that. So that's one of the things I stitched this week. She's a sewing too. and stitching princess with her little crown. Yeah, and she's so cute. That's darling. This is Tiny Little Stitches by Not Forgotten Farm. Yes. It is so cute. I might have to copy and steal that idea because I have some raggedy old, some raggedy ands from Nicole as well. So it's a perfect idea. Okay, so I'm looking on my list here and... I think that was the last thing except for the tomato. Yeah, yep. tomato bag. Oh, and then we have one thing after the tomato bag. That's right. Okay. So you start showing that. Let me grab my tomato bag. Okay, so I've made us both these tomato bags. We've got matching ones. But we know that... <laughs> peek over the top. <laughs> we know the difference because I put one of these... That's right. That's holes, a Cassidy pole. The, the, the Cassidy macrame pole. <laughs> now she just feels pressure every time I talk about them. <laughs> She's so busy. Sorry, Cass. <laughs> but we pressure, both pressure. we both love tomato um, cross stitches, and mine has the darling your zipper pull. Yes, tomato. the tomato pin cushion. They're so pull. perfect. I squealed when I saw that you designed that. And this that. is made out of my decorator weight. That's right. I forgot. Did you? We have the same linings. Huh? Yep. The um the gingham. The gingham. Mine's just bigger because I oh, yeah. that one. Yep. But so while I've been here, I've been stitching on Tomato Dame. Okay, so this is one chart that I didn't show you last week that I didn't have in my tomato bag. And then we were watching Brenda and Laura. You got marching orders. And I got marching orders from Laura, <laughs> which was so cool. And she said, Look at this chart. You need this in your bag. And yes, she knows me, obviously, right. because I do. And so I, I did what Laura says. Gotta that's, follow all the that's laws. That's how I am. And I <laughs> ordered it, and it's on the way. So I'll be adding this to my bag. So I was telling Lori that I think, I think that it is so darling that she is wearing white. Because as you all know, if you cook, 
any nothing splatters better than tomatoes when you're cooking them or picking them you get your hands green when you're out in the garden picking them but she has white on white dress so she's headless right now but there's i don't know if you can can you see the white dress on the screen Cassidy? yeah mm -hmm. so but she's pulling her great big prize winning I mean, tomato to the market she's gonna win she's gonna be pulling <laughs> back she needs to do um she <laughs> I'm telling Paulette what she needs to design. <laughs> she needs to design another one with her going the other way. So she's coming home with her big blue ribbon right. <laughs> from the fair, <laughs> from the first prize that she won with that big giant tomato. I, I love that. It's, and Thanks, it used to Laura, be. for telling me. I, that's right. Now you, March, March. Yeah. This used to be an exclusive chart through Dying to Stitch. And that's when I bought it. But it has been released to the public Um so you can find it anywhere now. And I would pay 10 cents for uh, that tomato bucket. It's such a sign <laughs> she only, only says 10 cents. And the crows, they're following her. They're like, hey. Yeah, that's because it's vintage time and she's got the flag in there because she's going to the state fair. That's right. I mean, I just made up this story. Um, but, <laughs> yeah. Okay. Okay. But you know what? There's one more thing before you show that because did you pull yours out? We added, I added oh, something to my yeah. tomato bag. Yes. Yes. So... We, at Christy's like, we have to put this in the tomato bag because there's something we were going to stitch together, but I didn't notice it had a tomato in it. So which one is it? And she's like, we need to put it in the bag because it has a tomato. So Brenda, the cereal start, or Brenda, which the is why stitcher, we put it in the tomato bag. Yeah. She, because it's a sewing club and you have tomatoes with, um, oh, this is the one. Is there tomatoes in it? So we're, I'm going to oh, no, start. Not, that's not it. Why did you tell me to put it in the tomato bag? Is because, there one that has tomatoes? Because Brenda has it in her bag and she's... Oh, all because we do what Brenda sisters. says too. That's right. We do but, what Brenda says, we do what Laura says. But you always have a tomato pin cushion when you're sewing, so I think that's why Brenda decided to put all the well, this, sewing club in and there. I just, this kind of looks like tomato, but I guess it's really not. That's right. Anyway, but I'm going to start... keep talking about it. I'm going to go through and see if there's a tomato. <laughs> <laughs> this is the first project that I think I'm going to start and it's in my garden. And I've got the gingham linen for it. It's 28 count. Oh wait, you're cocoa. gonna do it on the gingham linen? Uh -huh. mm. I special ordered it before you couldn't find it. 28 count cocoa gingham. And you can also finish it as either like a little uh, pin cushion or as this little drum right here. My other, uh, I think after that, I'm gonna go stitch the Rose Hips and Ivy that is a drum. Teresa Kitten Stitcher, Shakespeare's Peddler, just finished this and showed it on her last floss tube. But instead of a drum, she finished it as a pincushion. Oh, I saw that. I love that. With the buttons down the side. Look at this one. She so works with Willing Hands and Delight. Oh, I love that one. We have to stitch every one in this. So book. that's why it's in. Now I understand. I was that's like, right. wait, for some reason I'm like, where's the tomato? Well, when you go to sewing club, you got to take your gingham tomato. You do. Them. That's right. That's right. <laughs> I'm going to find my gingham tomato one. I'll show it to you next time that, that I was talking about. Okay. Okay. So all right, then, continue on. Sorry for the interruption. We just have all of our, we keep all of our tomato themed charts, sewing charts in this bag so that when the mood arises we just can we know where they're all at oh here's so, another one that we added that's right we added this one that's what i think that's now that's what it was this yeah. is brenda gervais but i'm like she's like put it in the tomato bag because we're going to do this together because it has a tomato in it that's right she's got a tomato pin cushion on her hip right on her hip look at this cute <laughs> wide hip stitchy girl <laughs> i love her she can just store all of her things right there on her hip she's got a built-in shelf <laughs> <laughs> that's right so that's what we added from what i showed you and then i've got the exact same charts in my bag as Lori, just because we're yeah I don't, i'm looking through and there's everything else yeah everything so i've got same. summertide blessings this is kind of the sister chart to the tomato dame that we showed you with the lady pulling the tomato and she's riding a curl this time it's so cute i know all the tomatoes are we just going to collect these? All the tomatoes are reaction. I'm going to stitch them. We've got to get them stitched. <laughs> I've got this one kitted and ready to go. And that is Project um, Stay at Home. Yep. From With Thy Needle and Thread. I love those ladies. And 
their tomatoes and yes and I'm then just I've making got, sure I have all the same ones <laughs> yeah I collect by Brenda Gervais oh sorry <laughs> it's hard because the words are always across and then the pictures exactly and then tomato harvest by sub rosa designs and the other one too and then tomato season by sub rosa designs you can tell that my printer was running out of color ink at that point <laughs> and then i lost my cross stitch basket oh uh, <laughs> it's okay it fell. <laughs> this one's also called tomato harvest but this is by stacy nash and i've got it all kitted ready to go i'm probably not going to stitch it on the darker linen i'm gonna probably i'm probably not either do it on a like a tan vintagey looking yeah. cloth. I never know until I just pick my floss and then I vintage country mocha would be a good one for that one. I love having a stash of cloths you know whether it's mine or anybody's or cloth that I've had for years because you just never know what you're in the mood to stitch on. That's right. And each project kind of dictates what kind of cloth it wants I think. Just like Brenda says you have to have stash so that when you want to start some at midnight you have to you can that's do all right. the things. That's right. And then my last one in my tomato bag is by um, Scarlet House Sweet Tomato. And I had some lakeside linen that I've hoarded in my stash for a while, and it's 36 count vintage pair. Mm -hmm. I just thought that's that going to be pretty. Yeah. With the, um, yeah. I did a floss top. Here's all the threads that are called for. And there's the black. I just thought they popped on that linen. So we just need to. Find some more time so we can do all these. That basket, though, would just, oh. you know, I read the poem last last week because I love it. But that basket with those tomatoes on there, that's perfection. And you wait all summer, especially here in Utah, for them to get my right. tomatoes in, get them started. Okay, so is that all we have in our it, tomato bag? for the Okay, last so thing. the last thing we wanted to talk about is um, my heartstring samplery, and I talked about it last week. That it's going to be the start on February 16th. And it's I belong to the Cross Stitch Nation. The chart is called Cross Stitch Nation. And it's by Beth Twist from Heartstring Samplery. And I have mine all kitted. I've pulled, haven't started yet because I'm gonna wait till the 16th, but we're inviting you. You know, I invited invited you last week and told you that I had invited Christy and that she said yes. So now both of us are inviting you. That's right. It's a formal invitation. Uh, to do this sal. And there's not a, you know, like a schedule. We're just going to start it and then you can finish it wherever you want. Just use the hashtag um, Cross Stitch Nation on Instagram, Facebook, whatever. But Is it Cross Stitch Nation sal? Yes. So Thanks. S Sorry. Sal. Yeah. Just use Cross Stitch Nation. Or you can just use both because yeah. you know there's going to be. I think there's already hashtags. You're going to click on it. both hashtags and you're going to see it all. So. But I'm doing mine on um, 35 count linen. Linen, linen. That's it's right. called linen and it is linen by week. Colored linen and it's linen. <laughs> and I just threw a bunch of flosses in and we'll see as we go, but it's all the called for. There's a lot of the um, weeks, classic color works, gentle arts, and DMC conversion. So like, I think I have a bunch in there. <laughs> just just a to, rainbow. Yeah, I just got into my stash, but that's what I'm doing mine on. Have you decided what you're doing yours on? So I've got a great big huge piece I haven't cut yet. It's like a half a yard, but I am going to do it on 36 count Wren by Picture This Plus. And I don't have them on a ring yet, but there's my floss. I don't have them on a ring either in a bag. So are yours the call for too? So mine are yours, the are the, for. yours are the over dies. So yeah. I have all the over dies in here and I have the DMC and then I'll decide. <laughs> And sometimes and I use both. Options. Like I mix DMC with Overdyes all that's the time. Right. It's I just like, I just, it's about the right color for me. So I that's mix, what it's about. I mix silk with cotton as well too. So it's just whatever looks good together. Yeah. So please join us yeah. on February 16th. That's next. Yeah. It's in four days. So yeah. it's Tuesday. That's right. Right? It's next that's Tuesday. Right. And it's your birthday. It's my birthday, but <laughs> I doesn't. Yeah. That's why we're going to start it because I'm, you know, I'm proud to belong to this community and this cross stitch nation and so this is the perfect perfect stitch for that i think and i'm going to be excited and i'm going to finish it i don't know how frame it whatever but i want it here in my sewing room That's with right. my little cross stitch things it's been the perfect community to belong to for the year 2020 and for right now on. <laughs> so thanks everybody for all the support that you've given me with my new floss tube and i'm so happy to have 
Christy here with me. <laughs> and guess what? I'm gonna I'm gonna have Cassidy. So many people <laughs> have asked me, we want to see Cassidy. Now, if you followed me in my quilting career and on my blog, you know Cassidy and you've watched her grow up. This is my Cassidy Grace. Come back in, Christy. <laughs> <laughs> this is Cassidy Grace, and um she's married now for yes. almost well, a year and a half. A year and a half. Yeah. Year and a half. And but if you if you've watched my blog since I started my blog when you were nine and I bought you your first sewing machine and then I, we did tutorials on things that you could sew. Do you remember those? I Christy? remember that. <laughs> so like on Sew Nights with Cass, that's what they were called. Right. And we did it on Wednesday nights, I believe. Was it Wednesday? I think so, yeah. And we just did little projects and like you did things for like bookmarks for your friends or stuff for your grandmas or you even did skirts sewed skirts mm -hmm. your twirly girl skirts we call them yeah <laughs> and um anyway so you've watched her grow up and then you know on instagram i post about her once in a while but she always comes every friday and she films me because she's you know she's awesome like that and she knows how to do all the stuff and i don't i just only know how to sit here and show you stuff <laughs> And so this is Cassidy Grace, and so thanks for watching, and happy stitching! <laughs>